so graph applications. So we already understand what's graph, we have no in art. So we want to apply the application, how to use graph here. So for example, uh, we try to travel from Austin to Washington. Okay. Like in our assignments, we can look at, <clears throat> we try to travel from our location. This could be your zip code to the hospital location. This is another zip code. So we can name zip code as Austin and zip code as Washington. In order to do that, we have to find a neighbors, right? Like the pad, like neighbors to Austin should be another neighbor zip code, Dallas. And neighbor to Dallas can be Denver. And neighbor to Denver is Atlanta. And neighbor to Washington is Atlanta. Now, this is going to be one single path. And we can see that Washington and Dallas actually they can be neighbor <coughs> in our assignment, right? So we can apply that by using the Algorithms number two, find the distance between these two zip codes. Distance between these two zip codes, right? Distance between these two and these two. And then it could be shorter by going through this route instead of this route. We don't know. Right, according to how we construct our graph. So that is our application. Two in assignment four, right? Now, let's look at how <clears throat> we construct this from this application from Austin to Washington. There are two approach. Just one is the depth first search. Again, this depth first search meaning that you try to find the path to Washington in a manner that you're not visiting your neighbors. You only visit one. And then from that neighbor, you visit only another one neighbor. From that neighbor, you visit another one until you find a destination. This is called that. So let's see <clears throat> how we do this. Like in this case, Austin go to Houston right away, never visit Dallas. Even though Austin has Houston and Dallas are neighbors, the two neighbors. Neighbors are adjacent with arms. But that first search is just like go down. Once I found, go another step to Houston, never only have Atlanta. Atlanta only have Washington. Because this is directed to graph. So that's why we found destination. Now, <clears throat> let's look at the algorithms here. So we provide start vertex to end vertex. And set found to false because we're not reaching from Austin to Washington yet. Or we're not reaching the hospital yet from our location. <clears throat> we push start vertex, right? So we push our zip code right there into stack. Do loop, right? <clears throat> stack dot top vertex. So try to get the vertex on the top. And then we pop it out. That means we visit it. So this, we have to mark as visited, okay? We're not going to worry about that yet. Let's look at this approach first. Once we look at pop, then we say vertex equals to end vertex. If it is, like we try to pop, but now we still at Austin. We're not reaching Washington yet, so we said found to true. 
if it is vertex, then we have, but if it's not, then we else push all Jensen vertices on the stack. So we push all the zip code nearby me into stack. All right? This is everything, right? Do the same while the stack not empty and not found. Return found, which is return false. So go back and keep doing that. Like we said, this approach is going to be infinite loop because we never marked the visit. So that's <coughs> why I said we have to make sure we mark if vertex is not marked, mark vertex. Right? We just add that approach in here, that logic. <coughs> and it keeps doing that because go back and it's going to pop and push our attention into the stack again and keep doing attention until you find and you stop then you get all the path now when you use stack stack is first in last out or last in first out meaning that you could attempt the first search Because it keep pushing and look at the top all the time, so that's why top always go deep until you find, until you find. Now, <clears throat> we don't want to do that for our approach because we want to create a network. Uh, we want to get all the arrows, we want to create a graph. So we're going to use this is how you implement right? using Java. Now, for us, we can use the breadth for search algorithms for our assignment. So <clears throat> we want to make sure we know who are all the neighbors, then we can create attentions like arcs. And we want to see all the nodes and all the paths that we can travel to the destination from Austin to Washington. So we look at the best first search algorithms. So start vertex and end vertex. So set found to false when start. And then we clear the marks and we have if is marked. Now for best first, you just use Q. Instead of stat, <coughs> we push into the queue. First in, first out. Then we start to do, right, check if the queue with the first vertex. First we in queue Austin, you start vertex. And if Austin equals to Washington, no, then we do else. If vertex is not marked, then we mark vertex as Austin we visited. And queue all adjacent vertices under the queue. So adjacent vertices can be <coughs> Dallas and Houston. Now you have Dallas into the queue and Houston into the queue. And the queue is not empty. We just look back. The queue, we get Dallas. And dollars is not your destination, then we mark dollars as visited. Now we NQ or Jensen again. Our dollars is Denver. Right, so now we have Houston and Denver. Now we have to DQ Houston. You see, when we did do like this, it's not dev. It's not going to the Jensen of Denver anymore. It's just go back to Houston. Because first in, first out. So Houston, NQ or the Jensen of Houston, Atlanta. Okay, so now we have market as we said it. Houston is not the destination mark Houston. And in Q Jensen of I mean we DQ Denver, right, to do that. And then in Q Jensen of Denver, which is Chicago. I mean actually Dallas has Chicago and Denver already. So we DQ have Chicago first. So Chicago we mark as we said and we NQ neighbor, which is very NQ, which is Denver. But we look at Atlanta, neighbor is going to be Washington now. Right? I mean, DQ, DQ Denver first, 
and my guy who said it. And try to end queue never, which is Atlanta. And it's already in the queue, so we just DQ Atlanta. And in queue never of Atlanta, which is Washington. So we keep doing that until we DQ Washington and we found a Washington is we found. Then we create all the art and all the notes. So in your assignment, you do the same. Keep doing the zip code until you find the destination zip code. So you're going to recursively or accurately do that. <clears throat> Get a neighbor nearby zip code, push into the queue, and dequeue that and mark as visit and get the nearby zip code again, push into the queue, right, and queue them, and then dequeue it and mark as visit and get nearby again. Keep doing that until it's going to find the destination. Right. Like spreading, like the bacteria is keep producing itself until you find the destination. <coughs> but it's just keep doing with the loop here. It's gonna be fast with the loop. And this is how you implement it in Java. So we create <coughs> queue and link it queue for vertex queue. Right. So it's found to fault. String vertex, string element. Clear all the marks, start the NQ start vertex. Do DQ the vertex the first time. If equals to end vertex, we find else. If not mark, we mark it and we visit it. <coughs> and vertex Q, we want to get all the neighbors. That's why we have vertex Q here. And while the neighbor is not empty, then we just going to DQ the vertex and NQ the all those as long as it's not marked. If it's marked, we're not going to NQ them. And then we keep doing that again and again. Until we find. <coughs> so now <coughs> that next algorithm is the shortest path. Alright, so your assignment, we, we, we get the graph created. <coughs> you need to <coughs> do the other algorithms. I mean, <coughs> which is API. Right, so you create a bridge graph finding this time between zip code. The first one, you construct a graph using the best for search that we just discussed. Now, since you already know all the zip codes, then you can just use this API. Provide those two zip codes, you can create the widget graph. And then you already have the how to construct a graph. You add that to the wage. And now we can find the shortest path. Because we rely on the wage, right? So, <clears throat> for example, last vertex and destination distance zero. This is the wage, right? As a distance, Washington Atlanta distance is six hundred. Washington two dollars distance is thirteen hundred. <clears throat> so. Like that. Washington to Atlanta, six hundred. Washington to dollars, thirteen hundred. Washington to Washington is seven zero. And then start to do Atlanta to Houston, and Dallas to Austin, and so on. Right? Atlanta to Houston is fourteen hundred. Dallas to Austin is fifteen hundred. So let's see, Atlanta to. Atlanta to Houston. Let me capture this.